guys. Um, we're here at the end of a brilliant day. Smooching around Tel Aviv. I'm really psyched about all the different food. The produce, first and foremost, is outstanding. But to be honest with you, it's been a, a day, you can see outside, but it's been a windy old day, and, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without all of the stuff I've got in my handbag. So I'm gonna show you how I've got by. Maybe not in order of importance. <laughs> so perfume-wise, it's pretty hot here. I would have been pretty stinky if I hadn't have done it without my uh, trusty Coco Chanel. It's not a fancy perfume. It's not one of the trendy, new, unique ones. I've used it forever. I don't even know how to look for another perfume, but it's very much my distinct smell. City Block. This is a factor 40. To be honest, this is less than I usually use. Um, I'm pretty much a 50-plus girl. But, you know, we knew the weather wasn't going to be 110% as it normally is, and I think it's probably done me proud. Although I'm not sure if I'm kind of windswept, burnt, or possibly a little bit drunk, because we've tried a few different beers. <laughs> this guy. Can you imagine me living without a hairspray? Um, I don't really have a favourite brand. Anything that's going to hold this, this guy up, and it's needed extra hold today because it has been so windy. Mascara, Fosil, used it forever. It's basically Full Slash Mascara by Celeron. This stuff, now this, if you've not used this before, it's uh, from Guerlain. It's a terracotta bronzing powder. I used it, I, I mean, I've got to say that this is something I found, I stumbled across in an airport many moons ago, and I only ever see it at the, at the airport. I'm obviously a sucker for what you can buy in GT3, but it is brilliant. Um, it's a tint foundation um, bronzer, but it's more of a foundation, it actually has coverage. And what I do with this is, even if I'm pale, I mix a little bit of this with my foundation, my normal foundation, and it sort of balances out your colour, especially if you've had a day running around being windswept and a little bit burnt in weather like this. I use MAC lipstick. Um, I'm a big fan of corals. This one's Morange. Morange? Morange. It's a really good coral, but I also like things like Costa Chic. Contact lenses. I'm blind as a bat. Many of you might not know that. Very important for me to have contact lenses. Revlon, Colour Stay. It's so great, you cannot get it off. It's literally one of those ones you scrub off. And I've got to say, most eyeliners you don't get that with. And I can do this without even thinking about it. Literally, it's like drawing the liner on. It takes a bit of confidence. I'm lucky, I've got big lids. A lot of people don't. Um, and that's why I think I'm, I'm able to get away with doing the thick eyeliner. Sunnies, I lose sunglasses, like, I've got to say, I probably, over the summer, lose a pair of sunglasses a week. Um, at the moment, I've got Ray-Bans, these are them. I love them. They're kind of just cool. They're, they're written 1930s, these. Um, I love the tortoise shell. I love the fact that they're gold-rimmed. They're small. For me, I normally wear massive sunglasses, so for me, this is quite small. But I think they're quite flattering. They're kind of every day. I can wear them with my hair down, and I can wear them with my hair up. They're kind of a good all-round sunglass. Last but not least, um, a pin box that one of my best friends, Ellie, gave me. Um, full of pins, it's a vintage one. You know, I always need extra pins. The beehive, there's a mountain of pins. Otherwise, this lovely handbag, it's quite 70s, vintage find that was found in a second hand shop. Okay, there we are. I've laid it all bare. These are my beauty tips. Quite worrying, really. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you haven't seen our trip around Israel and Tel Aviv so far, then you've just got to click here to see it. Otherwise, We'll see you again soon. Lots of love.